Welcome to my channel, Ken here. Today let's look at the KG amp switcher and cabinet switcher that I've been using for a while. Let's go! So I have a, a few amps here uh, heating up the room. Let me just go over those first. I have a Bogner Ultra Uber. I have a Marshall JVM. I have a Mesa Boogie Road King 2 and a uh, Tri-Axis into a 9090 as well as a Synergy into the 9090 and I have a Friedman modded Marshall uh, going all at the same time. So here's the Ultra Uber. <laughs> So the Ultra Uber is on channel 4 amplifier here. So here is the Tri-Axis on channel 7. And here is the Synergy. This is the uh, Fryette um, Pitbull mod. And here is the Road King. No pedals, obviously. And it really needs a pedal, so let's put a dirty tree on it. And let's hear how the JVM sounds with the Dirty Tree. Probably not the right boost, but no boost. Let's put a 808 on it. And let's go back to the Ultra Uber on channel 4. No pedal. Well, uh, the way this works, I have uh, two KHG um, amp switches with uh, four cabinets. Since I have more than eight amps here, I wanted to get something that I could expand. And the way this is done is basically you have a communication line between the two of them so they know what to turn on and off between the two of them, as well as a guitar signal going from one to the other, as well as the cabinet. That means you have a speaker cable behind there and you also have a instrument cable there and then you have a MIDI cable for communication between the two units. That doesn't mean you can't switch them via MIDI, uh, let's say through my uh, Ground Control Pro, but I don't do that because it's right next to me and it's easy for me to just switch it manually. Um, besides, those switches feel great. Uh, I, love, I love the feel of this unit. Uh, once that, all that's set up, you set up one as the kind of the master, if you want to call it that, and then one to follow it. and that's basically it. As you can see, I call A and B, so I can distinguish them, but it's relatively easy. It's just a lot of cables on the back. So there's a little weight there and that you gotta be careful. Hence, I have this towards the bottom so it doesn't hang over the gear. I just wanted to show you how it can switch without even clicks or pops or anything. So the relay is pretty accurate. I'm just gonna sustain a note and switch to another amp. Um, let's say the, Ultra Uber Bogner to the uh, Mesa Boogie Tri Axis. The volume shift is clearly the power amp. This Ultra Uber has 130 watts and the 9090 is 90 watts, so therefore the drop in volume, as you can hear here.
but if I switch between, let's say, two 100 watt amps, let's take the two Marshalls, uh, put, a, I'll put a tube screamer on it. Here's the JVM and the first, and then the modified Marshall. In this case, I'm using a Torpedo Studio as my IR loader, and I have to compensate for the power amp output. Right now, I'm running this into a Fryette power load, and it, it outputs the signal into a torpedo that's used as the IR loader. As far as the cab switcher is concerned, I only have one physical cabinet here and then uh, the power load by Fryette because I don't want to blow myself out of the room here and, and die a horrible death from volume. If I just kept it at the volume I push into the power load, it'll be 115 dBs, ridiculously loud. So this Bogner Uber Ultra has a second master volume where I can turn down the uh, the volume quite a bit. So here is the volume on the second master volume into the power load. Barely audible. Here's an into the cabinet. Have the cabinet mic'd up with the Biodynamics uh, 151, one of the new ones. Sounds okay. Now notice when I switch the cabinet and I hold the tone, no click and pop. Pretty cool, man. I've been extremely happy with this product. It's doing exactly what it claims to do. I haven't had any issues. Uh, I love the fact that it there's no clicks or pops when you switch between the different cabinets and the amps. It's, um, right now, I have to say, because I'm still in, in, you know, in a small space here, I don't have room to put all these cabinets up, but eventually I will. It works as advertised, and you know, just make sure you set it up properly and follow the instructions. Uh, and once you've done that, you don't have to think about it again. I mean, the switches on the front, I love them, and it's clear to see across the room what you're on. Uh, rather than put stickers all over this one, I have a little cheat sheet here on the side where I have all my amps and cabs uh, listed uh, on the channels. And uh, it doesn't get hot, lukewarm when you, to load up the amps when they're not being used. But other than that, uh, it's been a pleasure to use this. I'm, I've used other products before that I had problems with. Haven't had any problems with this one. And also, uh, Look at the form factor of this thing. This is a one space unit. You know, the build quality is top notch on this and they do go out of their way to make sure you don't hook it up in the wrong way, especially when um, you don't want to mix it up in the back with the guitar signal and the, and the power amp out. But there's safe, safe fails. So if you look at, at this picture here on the screen, you can see there's a pale red thing that means it's loaded there uh, on the cabinets. And when it's bright, that's the one I'm using it currently. And it'll clearly indicate which amp you're on. Uh, you can't use more than one amp at a time, but it might be nice if you could do that. I don't know if, if they have an update in store for that, but let's say you have two amps and you combine two sounds at the same time. Um, but f for now, this works for me. And it's pretty sim simple and straightforward as long as you follow the instructions. And yeah, there's been no problems with this whatsoever. Thanks for watching. 
If you like this kind of content, please like, share and subscribe. And until next time, take care.